Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today we have a look into building a Nuxt single page application because you can do that with that amazing meta framework. So no need for SSR, let's see how to disable it and what else to check out. Let's go. Of course you all know Nuxt has amazing capabilities when it comes to server-side rendering, be it SSR on demand, hybrid mode, static side generation, ISG, ISR, you know all the terms, and we'll make a video about that in the future too. But today we talk about building plain old single page applications, because this is what you can do with Nuxt.js as well, even though most people think, oh yeah, Nuxt, we need service at rendering, but don't worry, we'll give you the freedom to do whatever you want, even without running a server at all, just having a single HTML file where your whole SPA lives in, classic as you do it with plain VGS. So let's have a look into our demo application and figure out how we can set it up. Don't worry, it's a few lines of configuration and a few extras here and there, depends on what you need. Let's check it out. And yes, as usual, we have a very, very minimal demo application with a few pages pre-generated. So let's have a look. We have our index page here that just says index page and then some links to the about page. Well, that should actually also go to the about page and a user test page. The about page, same idea, just a few links. Make it a little bit bigger, here we go. And then we have also a dynamic page to show how dynamic pages behave when we use single page application mode later on, or oh, no SSR, by just saying, okay, this is a user so-and-so on page, and then going all the way with the Nuxt links again. And then our most important part is our Nuxt config, so have, let's have a look. The Nuxt config is pretty simple. We only have our wonderful black background and white text. And if we now generate the whole application by using status high generation and running pmpm generate, well, then we will see that Nuxt will actually re-render 10 routes here. So this is not exactly what we want, right? We have a payload, payload JSON here with some build hash. We have the users about, users test, um, all generated and all of these things. And the problem with that is obviously that now we don't really have a single page application. If we have a look in .output, public, and let's say uh, about indexed HTML, well, that doesn't look like an SPA. It says about page right here. So that's not what we want. The good part is that we can change that very easily. So the first thing we should do is disabling server-side rendering in general. And we can do this in our Nuxt config here. So let's close the rest and just say SSR false. And this is the only thing you need to fully disable server-side rendering. If we now generate the page again, let's see what's happened. Of course, the static preset is used again because we want uh, eventually only static file. And here it gives us a warning that this says HTML content not pre-rendered because SSR false was set. You can read more in than the link. And this is because commonly people for whatever reason, probably some wrong tutorials out there think, oh yeah, we need SSR false for static site generation. It's not the case if you want fully like, you know, SEO, SSR at build time static site generation, then you need to set SSR to true or just remove the option because true is the default. But as you want to build a clean, plain old SPA, SSR false is the way to go. So don't worry about the warning. It's actually what we want. That's also what the docs say there. So a little shortcut. And now let's check out what we actually have in our pre-rendered routes. So now we went from 10 to five. So what exactly happened here? Well, we see, okay, index is still generated, about is generated and 404 index in 200. So what's fully missing is the whole users and then a name here, users about, users test, uh, these routes are fully missing. Well, and that's good in that way because we don't want them to be generated. We also don't want these to be generated, but let's see what actually changed. Because SSR false was set, the built-in crawler of Nux and Nitro, well, they couldn't really detect any new links because there are no links in the not generated SSR HTML because it is not generated, right? We only have this like little loading spinner, but you can also set that for an SPA loading template. In this case, it's, it's not set, but you can easily do that and also define your own one. Nevertheless, there is no link to be crawled, so we don't have these dynamic pages, which is totally fine. But there is still one thing that's not that good. We still generate all the static pages. So like index and about right now, if you have like 100 static pages, the build will still take a little longer. Now on the one side, you can say, okay, that's good. I want to have it that way because then you can still have a pre-rendered meta tags um, that you set for the next config. But if you say, oh, you know what? I just want one single file. Then there's a little tweak we have to do and then we're done. And this little tweak is pretty simple. We use a hook 
of Nux. So we say hooks in here and then we use the pre-render routes hook. So we say, okay, all the routes that should be pre-rendered, let's do something with them. And in here we have the routes argument. Well, actually we get a whole context of the hook, but the routes is in that object. And here we just say, you know what, routes, which is a set of routes, just some strings, we clear all of them. So please do not generate any routes except the defaults. And now if we render the whole thing once again, let's see what's happening. And now we see, okay, we're down to the three routes that, that are necessary and that's totally fine. They're all the same, all just an index HTML, 404 and 200. So the good part is there that you can easily just upload things straight away to platforms that support a 404 HTML or 200 HTML. And then they will automatically recognize, oh yeah, okay, good. Let's send everything there. Perfect. And if you have your own, let's say VPS or your own, I don't know, ship on your own FTP server, then, then you can set up your Apache or Nginx to always serve the indexed HTML or 200 or 404. It doesn't matter because they're all the same um, for all the error codes and then you're good to go. Nice. So now we have our plain old SPA. Also, let's double check real quick if it's really an SPA. So if there's nothing pre-rendered and let's have a look in the output files. And then we do one more thing with the router. So let's have a look at the index HTML. And here we have some prefetches. Okay, that's fine. Maybe let's enable word wrap real quick. Then we have server rendered set to two. And that's false in this case. That's how the payload can be read here. Data SSR is false and all is correct. Wonderful. So that's great. Last but not least, there's one more thing as mentioned. We can also set up the router to do something more SPA-like. So if you don't want to set up your Nginx or your Apache to always serve this in this document, but you actually just want to have this one single file and use fragment or hash-based routing, this is something that ViewRouter supports. And in Nuxt, it's also not too difficult to set. Let's do that. And for this, we just write router. And in here, we have an options object. And here we set hash mode to true to say, okay, view router should please use the hash mode. And let's have a quick look in development or also in production that doesn't really matter. You know what? Let's just build it real quick for prod again and uh, serve it. So we actually have the whole site and then see what um, the hash mode is actually doing. I know most of you probably already know that, but still it's good to have a look at it in the video because why not? So after generating, we can deploy output public anywhere, or we use npx serve. That's the easiest way of previewing that locally. We can also use pnpx or whatever uh, execution option you want. And after we serve that, we can have a look at localhost 3000. So let's quickly jump on there and see how things will work. And here we are in our demo application. Wonderful. It is all deployed to production as in like we just run the generated build. Uh, we could also upload it somewhere. Now we have the hash route over here. So we clearly see, okay, all right, this is using fragment-based routing. We only need to serve that index HTML and we're good. And now if we go to about, for example, then we have that fragment in front. That's correct as we should, and it's great. And now if we reload the page, well, that should be pretty fast. We see this little flickering, so there's no content rendered. And we also see here very clearly, nope, there is nothing. Uh, available in the index HTML, no content in there. And that's great. But now you might wonder, okay, we can set it all up. It's not too difficult. And depending on whether you want to render all the static sites uh, or only one single HTML, we can have a little thing with the hook there that we did with the pre-render routes hook. But why exactly should you build SPAs with, with Nuxt.js? Well, the reason is pretty simple. First of all, when you start a project, you might think, okay, we have this very tiny scope. We just build a simple SPA and you're good. And you can start in, in Vue, for example, of course, too. But then if people say, yeah, but now we need server-side rendering, do you really want to either build your own SSR setup, which is not that easy, and you run quite some pitfalls that, well, we as in Nux team already solved. That's why the framework is there too. Or you say, okay, then we migrate our Vue application over to Nuxt. So that, that's one way, of course. Um, but on the other hand, you can say, why not ensuring that everything is possible? At some point when I say, okay, I have some marketing pages, I want to generate them. No problem. Nuxt can help me with that. Or I need some server-side running for certain pages, but still keep things in a plain old SPA if needed, which you can do with route routes. So then choosing Nuxt might be a good option. And as well as the other features like the file system-based routing that we have, auto-import, and so on, so on. These are all things you can set up 
your own in your own view application, right? We have unplugin, uh, auto import, unplugin, uh, view router, uh, and so on, so on. So that, that all works too, but well, you have to set up yourself and you have to deal with when the implementation doesn't work. So that's always the benefit of owning the implementation, the code. You can set up the dependency, you can set up the package as you want, but if you want to have that whole built-in experience, then Nux is a good way to go. Plus, of course, you have all the modules. Um, you also have, of course, view plugins and other recipes and cookbooks available there, but also nobody stops you from using just the typical view code in your Nux application, so you can do the same. I hope that kind of makes sense, and that's also why I commonly build single-page application with Nux, because it's pretty easy and straightforward to do. Plus, if you want to add then some kind of backend, some kind of API routes, Nitro is there to solve it for you. And that's it. So now we know how to build a simple SPA with Nux.js, how to configure everything, and, well, why you should even do that and not just say, let's use plain view, which is totally fine too. It's just a matter, in this case, of preference and where the project might go plus what you're comfortable with. Nevertheless, try it out, give it a shot. Also watch the latest Deja View episode. Michael is back, so we'll have a little discussion about wonderful design patterns in Vue, if you haven't heard about it yet. Check it out, link is everywhere. And um, yeah, uh, drop me comments if you have questions, if that makes sense, if you had any problems with SPAs and Nuxt, or if there's something like, hey, maybe this would be cool out of the box. So yeah, let me know as usual. See you latest next week. Uh, hopefully here in Deja View and uh, talk to you soon. Happy hacking.